You're now watching a clip from the Inspired by show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. I was always trained to um, take emotion out of sales. You know, take emotion, take intuition. Emotion will cloud your judgment. That was a lot of stuff that I was yeah. taught. What's your views on emotion in selling and as essentially using your intuition. Well, you can see how it got me. I mean, you know, <clears throat> it's many, many years since I got that job for John and it gets me in the heart. Mm. That's when you know you, you, you serve people. Mm. It matters to me. Mm. And that's what I'm trying to instill in other people. You've got to be selling in a market that means something to you with people that mean something to you or services or products or whatever it is you've got to sell. Mm. That's why you can't sell a product you don't believe in because what, what won't layer behind it is all of the enthusiasm or, or you know, need to do a good job mm. or provide the best, you know? Yeah. It's like you've got to, if you were to sell something you don't believe in, you've got to put so many masks on and so many layers on. Exactly. It's going to crack eventually. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's like you should have gone to acting school. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Basically. And do you know what? That's one of the things that I often struggle with because I, we get on, we're very similar, right? I, I've got to feel it in order to publish a book with someone. And people always say to me, Chloe, you can't speak to every author that you're going to publish. Yes, I can. You can't read every <laughs> book. Yes, I can. Yeah. Because for me, I've got to feel it and I've got to feel. People say to me, do you not need to read the whole book before you decide to publish us? I'm like, no, no, I published the author. Like, I know I can believe in an author, but yeah. the hardest thing is, and I can totally relate to you, sometimes I want it more than the author does. Oh, I, I get to know them and I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be so good. How do you not realize how good the book this is going to be? But for whatever reason, they don't believe in themselves. A bit like that John situation, you know. Yeah. I've put my neck on the line for many of our clients, got them fantastic opportunities with their books. And sometimes they're like, are you sure I can do this? I'm like, yes, you can. Go and walk on that stage and talk yeah. in front of those people. Like yeah. those hundreds of people, they're ready for your book. Go. Mm. And they're sort of like borrowing my belief, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, so, well, I think I, can, I get that. You know, it, it, sometimes you do have to do it that mm. way. And sometimes you do have to be brave and you do have to put all your chips down on the table. Mm. But quietly, just behind that edge of fear, you know you can do it. Mm. When you know you've got the gold nuggets, you know you can do it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And it's that knowing and it's knowing mm. that comes from your intuition, essentially. Yeah. Now, we're talking a lot about intuition and energy. I want to ask you, as someone that is incredibly intuitive, how much did intuition play a part in actually coming up with your book? Like, Because I know, obviously, when you work with us, this is quite a timeline to work with of writing your book. And you were always fascinated because sometimes you were like, didn't do anything this week. And I was like, oh no, we're going to be behind. And then next minute you'd written loads. And I was like, what? This is so inconsistent. <laughs> um, which as a publisher was a headache at times, not going to lie. But it was great we got the result. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but how much of it was intu intuition or it coming from somewhere? Um, yeah, I, I think it's really interesting. I think there was only one time when I was actually thinking, oh my goodness, what am I going to write? I'm right on the deadline. What am I going to write? What am I? And I thought, come on, get a grip. Just calm down. You know, I've, I've done a lot, as you know, with energy systems mm -hmm. and meditation and all sorts of things. Um, and I thought, just clear the space. Clear the space and know that something will drop in. Mm. And usually it was about 3,000 words. <laughs> Perfect. On the mark. That's exactly what now. we want to send to the publisher. Perfect. I yeah, love that. Exactly. And what about deciding to write the book? Like, where were you before you decided to write the book? And then what was happening that made you go, do you know what? I'm going to write a book. Um, I just believe it's a book that needed to be written. I, I've been watching, obviously, for years as a quiet person. I've just been, you know... Um, foraging away and thinking there isn't anything really for women to get hold of to understand what is the thing or the things that make the difference that will make them far more attractive to um in their in their selling ability and it it, it you know you, you only have to look around the country or the world most sales trainers are men now, that's fine. I love men. But the thing is, I'm a woman. So when you get the mixed energy, that's where the problem comes. It's the female nurturing heart, the intuition, the 
troubleshooting, all of that, the warmth versus the masculine energy, which is, right, I'm going to fix this. It's very prescriptive. I want to get the script. I want to get it all sorted and I want to close. I hate that word. I say to all of my people, if you do your job right, you'll never have to close anybody. They'll say to you, how do I work with you, Susie? Mm. And it happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And funny, since you've said that, that's exactly what I've experienced. As soon as you actually get away from, I must close every person yeah. I speak to, or I must close these people. You know, I, I massively believe in look for the no. Like I'm forever yeah. going like, okay, I are they going to disqualify themselves? Yeah, you know? exactly. Because then it actually becomes more of just a conversation. Yeah. There's a, 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 as well, I think there's far too much persuasion going on in the world. I'm not averse to influence, but I am averse to p persuasion. Mm. You know, that's not great. Mm. So, you know, you want to be opening somebody's mind up to consider other avenues, other possibilities, other services, other products, whatever. Um, and you may think this is great, but ultimately the decision is theirs. Your job is to make sure that they have no unanswered questions mm. by the time that, you know, they get to the, the point of making the decision. Because the only thing question that can happen at that point is are you going to buy it or whatever yeah but if you've answered the questions and it's a right fit they'll walk themselves into the sale mm -hmm. yeah exactly and you talked about their you know persuasion for me i've seen so much manipulation yeah. go on you yeah, know well, that's and the other it, side of it isn't and it, it, and yeah. it it's an extreme case but i have i have heard some horror stories of people that are mm -hmm. going out to manipulate people mm -hmm. and i just think when it comes to selling you just end up getting buyer's remorse. People will just go, do you know what? Actually, you'll celebrate and go, yay, you know, these clients want to work with me. And then a week later or less, they'll go, even Ooh, they might wake dear. up the next day and go, what have I done? Please have my money back. I, I agree. I mean, you know, one of the worst things that people uh, can do that they don't spot early enough is they don't go after the um, the right fit client. They they think to themselves, oh, all of these people are going to be a right fit and they're not a right fit. And you have to be really clear, really, really clear on who your right fit client is. Mm. Because if you're not, you end up spending time with people, you know, trying to get them to do this and trying to get them to do that. It's never going to work. Mm. 